I want to talk to you today about something that is very concerning involving the fleet of small aircraft that we have today. What if I told you that someone had done a structural repair on your aircraft, had never told you, your mechanic did not know about it, and it was not logged in your logbooks? Now, of course, as a seat upholstery guy, I'm talking about something relating to the seats of your aircraft. If you have a Cessna aircraft, you know, one of the old 180s or early 172, that airplane is nearly 70 years old. And a lot of those seats have never been upholstered. But here's the other thing. The ones that have been upholstered, a lot of times the mechanic and the owner never inspected the seat frame. You may think, well, how is this possible? What happens is owners of aircraft, they take their seats out of the airplane and they take it to an upholstery shop and they say, here, reupholster my seats. And here's a guy that normally does boats and couches and furniture. But a lot of times they tear the old upholstery shop off and guess what? They find damage in there. Damage that the owner didn't know about because it was covered by upholstery. And they repair it because they're trying to get the job done and get it out the door. And so the owner shows up three weeks later and picks up their beautiful seats, puts them in the airplane, goes flying. This is sounds like a crazy scenario, but it's definitely a scenario that happens way more than you would think. Now, why do they never get inspected? Is it because of mechanic neglect? Not necessarily. We all know about the Cessna seat rail AD. That AD was created because the seats were sliding back on the seat rails at the most inopportune time. That has killed multiple people. But that AD does not cover Piper seats, which could have the same issue. And it doesn't cover other parts of the seat frame. It only covers the part of the seat frame that attaches to the seat rail and the seat rail itself. But there are a lot of structural components to that seat that never get inspected. The problem is, is that most upholstery completely covers the seat frame. It covers parts of the seat frame that should never be obscured. For example, where the backrest pivots to the frame. That is a very critical point. And in a lot of seats, it's completely covered up by the upholstery. I'm gonna show you some examples of this and then I wanna talk about the solution. Okay, this first one is kinda of just for fun because it's so extreme. This is the most outrageous example I have of what is your upholstery hiding. A customer literally brought me this seat and wanted me to upholster it. And once I tore the old upholstery off, this is what I found. This is another example of what is your upholstery hiding. Obviously this frame has since been cannibalized, but as you can see, the frame broke right here. If there was upholstery on this frame, you obviously wouldn't be able to see this. But if it had all its legs and it was attached to the seat rail, you would be able to rock the back rest of this and it would not move because it's secured to the seat rail. But this break would cause there to be stress in other parts of the frame. And let me show you one other one. One of the most common breaks that I see is when holes have been drilled on the front side of a seat frame and then they put screws, sheet metal screws into it to hold on like a plate or something. And as you can see, if it's on the front of the seat frame, that is going to crack like 100%. So imagine your seats broke in that way and now you have extra stress on where these holes are. It could all lead to something catastrophic. I wanna to talk to you about the way upholstery should be done. You should have your mechanic strip the frames, inspect the frames, repair the frames, and then paint them and ready them for the new upholstery. And then your mechanic should be the one installing the new upholstery or you with your mechanics approval and supervision. And that is where we come in. We make seat upholstery kits that are so easy to install that literally anyone with any skill level can do it in five to 10 minutes per seat. In addition to being easy to install, it eliminates the problem of future inspection. Number one, the upholstery does not cover up critical parts of the frame that should be inspected regularly. I'm talking like pre-flight regularly. Number two, it is so easy to remove and reinstall the upholstery without damaging the upholstery because of how our system works that a mechanic can take the seat upholstery off while the seat is still in the airplane and put it back on in five to 10 minutes. Go to sportaircraftseats.com. You can design and order your seats right there. We have a library of installation and instructional videos. Check it out.